how to find common denominator to add fractions and this time we have three fractions to add so here are three different examples I will do one of them for you and leave the other two for practice so let me do the last one which is 3 over 14 plus 2 over 21 plus 1 over 6 now what do you think is the least common denominator and how can we find it just as we did in the last video that was for two fractions now for three fractions let's follow the method of ladder division right ladder division gives you least common denominator so what are we trying to find here we are trying to find the least common multiples and then getting our least common denominator so the numbers in the denominator are 14 21 and 6 and let's see which numbers can divide them so 14 and 6 are even numbers let's divide them by 2 so if we divide 14 by 2 we get 7 but we can't divide 21 so just write 21 as such 6 goes 3 times with 2 now what numbers can divide them further now 7 and 21 they can be divided by 7 so 7 times 1 is 7 and 7 times 3 is 21 but 3 cannot be so we'll copy 3 as such still we have common factors between 3's so we can now divide by 3 right so we get 1 here and 3 goes one time and one time with these 3's that leads the numbers to be multiplied is 2 7 and 3 so least common denominator is equals to 2 times 7 times 3 right so let's multiply them 7 times 3 is 21 and twice 21 is 42 so we get 42 here now 42 is our common denominator now we know the common denominator let's try to add the three fractions the fractions which I'm going to do for you is 3 over 14 plus 2 over 21 plus 1 over 6 now we already know that the lowest common denominator for these three numbers is 42 now how to make 42 from 14 that is what should I multiply 14 with to get 42 now that answer is right here 14 is 2 times 7 I need to multiply by 3 so let's do that part so I'll rewrite that 3 over 14 in fact I'll rewrite all three of them and then figure out what to multiply them with so that we get common denominator now the first one 14 it should be multiplied by 3 to get 42 so let's multiply this by 3 over 3 3 over 3 is 1 if you multiply anything by 1 you get the same number right so these are equivalent fractions we, we are changing the fractions we are multiplying both numerator and denominator by the same thing now we got 21 in the denominator how can I make it 42 now 7 times 3 is 21 to make it 42 I need to multiply by 2 so let me do 2 times both numerator and denominator how about 1 over 6 now 6 is 2 times 3 so we need to multiply by 7 so let's multiply this by 7 over 7 now we ensure that we get same denominator for all the three fractions so the denominator for us is 24 and the numerator is 3 times 3 9 plus numerator is 2 times 2 4 denominator 24 plus 7 times 1 is 7 and 6 times 7 is 42 so yeah 40 the sorry denominator was 42 not 24 so 3 times 14 42 right 42 is a common denominator right we multiplied 21 by 2 and got 42 so 42 is our common denominator not 24 right yes now when we have a common denominator then we can add the numerator so what do we get common denominator is 42 and let's add 9 plus 4 plus 7 well 9 plus 4 is 13 and 13 plus 7 is 20 so we get 20 over 42 now these are all equivalent fractions so we should write equal to sign 
Now 20 over 42 has something in common, right? They are both even numbers, so we can simplify it. That is, we can divide both by 2, right? So if I divide both by 2, what do I get? This is 10 and this is 21. So I get 20, 10 over 21. So I can write my answer as 10 over 21. That is simpler, right? And it cannot be simplified any further. So that is our answer. So our answer is 10 over 21. So that is how we can add three fractions by making their denominator same. So I'd like you to practice by doing one and two parts, right? These two yourself follow the same technique, correct? So now you need to find least common denominator by ladder division. Practice that. Let me do it for you for 1, 15, 10, 6. So how will you do? Write the numbers 15, 10, 6. Find a number which can divide at least two of them. So the number is 5. 5 times 3, 5 times 2 is 10 and it cannot divide into 6. Just write 6 as such. Now again, do repeated division in this ladder form. You cannot divide by 3. 3 times 1, 2 cannot be divided. Bring it down. And 3 times 2. So the LCM or the lowest common denominator will be lowest common denominator will be 5 times 3 times 2 times 2, right? 5 times 3 times 2 times 2. There is no need to write times 1 because it gives you the same number. Now when you multiply these numbers, it is a good practice to multiply 5 and 2, you get 10 and 3 and 2 is 6. So 10 times 6, so this is equal to 60, right? So it helps. Now make all of them 60 and then add as I did. I hope that helps. Thank you.